Hello, everybody, and welcome to the beginning of section 1.4. We are looking at page 17 in the workbook, and in this section, we're continuing the process of kind of building the groundwork for our linear algebra course. In the last section, we talked about subspaces, which is a really big definition in linear algebra, and we are about to talk about another big definition called a linear combination. Okay, so let's unpack this definition together here. Okay, it's going to come at us in a couple of parts here. So if we read the first line, it says, let V be a vector space and S a non-empty subset of V. Okay, so just to help you picture this, maybe think of V as being like our universe. That's the whole vector space. And then S is just a bag of vectors that lives inside of our vector space. Okay, and here's how our definition starts out. Okay, suppose that we consider any scalars a1 through an that live in our field, and any vectors u1 through un that live in this bag of vectors s. And what we'd like to talk about is a vector of the following form. Let's, let's just write this out together. So v is going to look like a1 u1 plus a2 u2 and so on up to a n u n. Notice that we're just taking the scalars over here and multiplying by the vectors and adding them up. Um, we can also write that sum in sigma notation like this, the sum from as i goes from 1 to n of a i u i. Okay, and that sum that we just wrote out has a special name. It's called a linear combination of the vectors in S. It's just a way of reaching into our bag of vectors, um, pulling out a subset of that, and then just forming this combination that we wrote down right up here. Okay, and then Continuing with the statement here, there's a name for the scalars, okay? They're, they're just called the coefficients of the linear combination, okay? And I'm just going to kind of periodically erase so we don't get too cluttered here. Okay, so that's the first part of our definition. Okay, and then we come to the second part. We'll have a lot of occasion in this course to want to talk about the set of all possible linear combinations of vectors of S. That's given a special name. It's called the span of the set S. You can think of that as sort of thinking about reaching into this bag and picking all possible combinations of vectors out of those bags, out of that bag, and then forming every possible linear combination like that. And if you put all of those linear combinations together, you get what's called the span of S, what we just wrote here. Okay, and then finally, one more part to this definition. Um, in some cases, you might find that this bag, S that you started out with, is big enough so that when you take the span of S, all the possible linear combinations of vectors in S, you get the entire vector space. Okay, And if that happens, if the span of S is everything in our vector space, we say that S spans or generates the vector space. Okay. So... These are new definitions. There's a lot of terminology and um, notation to get used to. And so in the videos that follow, we'll do some examples just, just to get see if we can get comfortable with these new definitions.